Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's shiniest music nerd. And it's time for a little itty bitty witty EP review of the new Disclosure EP, Ecstasy. It's been about five years now since we have heard a new full-length project from the duo, though they have kept that gap of time full with uh, EP releases. Ecstasy is actually their third EP release since 2015. It's very tight. Nearly every track is a banger. Much of this thing is very high-quality house. Of course, there are some elements of two-step and garage mixed in there. They are Disclosure, though. That's pretty much their wheelhouse, so you expect that. But what's more important than the classification of the songs on this EP is that they're all pretty irresistibly funky, loaded with some good engaging progressions too, like the driving kicks and stumbling repeating chord progression on the title track, which is uh, very odd and a little disorienting, but still catchy. I also love all the bright heavenly bursts of sound every bar or so on the track too. Throughout the song, there are good builds, great rhythmic embellishments, jazzy keyboard licks, also a soulful vocal sample as well. Ecstasy! A lot of pretty classic house tropes executed very well. After this, we have the song Tondo, which is an Afro-funk flip that turns out really great. Apparently, it's based off of an old Echo Roosevelt Lewis song and basically takes a lot of the track's pre-existing elements and adds some punchier drums edits and reduces the track down so that it has a, a clubbier appeal. There are large swaths of the original track that feel pretty much untouched in this song. Like, I definitely wish Disclosure took some more creative liberties with the samples on this track. On the following track, Expressing What Matters, we go into more of a classic house direction, but with a lot of these strange and stuttery edits on the synthesizers and the vocals of the track, it's kind of surreal in that sense. A great deal of the song is based off of a Boz Skaggs sample, so of course it has a very classic soul feel to it. There's also a thick and amazing burst of horns in the second half, a bass line that just won't quit. It's a good cut. Now the following cut, Etran, goes back to Africa, but to more of a Saharan region, as the track is heavily based off some samples of the Niger band Etran Finatawa, who seem to have more of a desert rock sound and style not too much unlike the uh, very famous group Tenariwen. And the way that Disclosure produces this track, it feels less like a house or a garage or a two-step song and more like uh, a, a somewhat electronic circle of drummers and singers. It's, it's, it's very, uh, uh, I, I guess, collective in that sense. Behind the vocals and behind the drums, though, you do have some building synthesizers that kind of give the track some rising and falling action. I don't think it has the strongest groove or progression of any track here, but it's still stylistically a very nice change of pace on the EP. And then with Get Close, we have a pretty funky finale. Disclosure going back to that garage wheelhouse, essentially, with a very deep and demonic voice, kind of segmenting different sections of driving rhythms and angular bass. I just want to get close. It's a body rocker with a very long euphoric breakdown after the second half that borders on just being straight ambient music. The last leg of the track goes pretty hard though, and uh, it's it's overall, again, a good finish to the EP. So overall, I love this EP a little bit. It's a good showing from Disclosure, but honestly, uh, as well edited as these tracks are, as funky as they are, as well put together as they are, I want more. I want more. I want a record of this stuff. I would love for Disclosure to break away from a more commercial album where they're trying to pack every single song into a prevailing trend or uh, just tack onto a track a mediocre performance from a well-known artist. The Ecstasy EP here is just generally very enjoyable and functions on a lot of very basic principles of house music. And of course, those basic principles are executed very well, and that's generally what makes this EP enjoyable. So yeah, I'm liking it, loving it, highly recommend it to any of you, and uh, looking forward to more material from Disclosure in the future, assuming that uh, at least some of it is along these lines. That is going to be it for me in this uh, little review of this EP here, though. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Disclosure, Ecstasy, Forever.